Oh. <laughs> it's gonna be a really long travel day. This is a day that I was kind of nervous about a while ago, but I think it'll be good. There's a lot of information out there. Seems pretty easy. Our front desk guy recommended that we get a tuk-tuk at 8 a.m. Um, I did some research and it said it's if you get your own tuk-tuk, it's about 150 baht um, for the two of us. And he offered us um, a prepaid ride for 80 baht a person. So um, for 10 baht extra, we just have the convenience factor. So we decided to go ahead and do that option. Um, so we're up early. We'll head out at 8. And we'll try and get to the slow boats in Laos by 11.30. So before we head to the border, we're going to run to the grocery store really quick. We read that prices for food on the slow boat can be two to three times the price of normal food in town. So we're going to make sure that we're stocked up for the next two days. And uh, it's probably going to be a lot of packaged bread. <laughs> <laughs> Again. <laughs> Today is two ham and cheese croissants in a package. Two waters. Do you want your dessert cookies? Oh, yeah. They're so good. They're like Knott's Berry Farm or like thumbprint cookies, but with cream in the middle. We have to get two meals worth of food in here. Do you want this? Sure. Chocolate chip banana cupcake. Okay. Two of those. <laughs> There's it's breakfast. Not much. And two coffees for Tay. Okay, stop, 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 stop. I really like these little lattes in a can. Okay, another favorite part about other countries is the flavor of Lay's that they have. <laughs> they have sweet basil Lay's. <laughs> that sounds so good. Or hot chili squid, you know. Hot chili squid. <laughs> also, I saw like... Roast chicken Oh, yes. Honey. Lobster hot plate. Lasagna. Seaweed. Lasagna. <laughs> uh. All right, not bad. We ended up with two bananas, two yogurts, two waters, two muffins, two croissant ham creepy things. The worst part about 7 Eleven in Thailand is that you have to spend at least 300 baht in order to use your credit card. So, other than the hostels, we haven't been able to rack up any points, but nah. it's all good. <laughs> okay, I thought we'd be in a tube tube, but it's a private car. It's a little fancy for my taste, but... I think it's kind of nice. The first time we've sat in a real car <laughs> in two weeks. <laughs> Thai border, border control Chang Kong Immigration Departure Center and we're gonna go through the gates and turn off the camera for a little bit and uh, we'll play it by ear to see if I can record any of this. <laughs> Update. If you come before 8.30, it's 25 baht to cross the Friendship Bridge versus 20 baht, which is what we were told, which is fine, but we were expecting 20. Let's go. Okay, so we made it onto the bus to go across the Friendship Bridge. Next stop is going to be the Laos Border Patrol, where we're going to have to get some money because we don't have any kit to our name. <laughs> we'll go through um, immigration, get our visa, all that fun stuff, and then we will go to the Southern area. <laughs> 
so technically you could walk across the bridge into Laos, but I definitely wouldn't recommend it. This drive is actually pretty far, especially if you have luggage. This is worth the 25 mile for sure. Here's the Lao Thai Friendship Bridge. Made it to the border. Now this is where the fun begins. I think camera off again. Yeah, definitely camera off. Okay, we made it through. That was pretty harmless. It's really slow. There's a lot of people, but um, easy. Now we just have to find a ride to the slow boats. <laughs> so we went up to a tuk tuk driver to find out that you actually pay at the little station right as you come through the border. It's twenty thousand yen. Now we have a ride. All right. Need my help here. On your own, you actually have to go up here to the slow boat ticket office. Go get him, Tiger. Got two tickets to the Long Kabong for 210,000 kip. Oh, that's what it said it should be. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Jay keeps calling the boats buses. <laughs> it's cute. The bus on water. <laughs> okay. Oh dear. We're gonna try and go toward the front so that we can get some extra wind while we're moving. And on the left hand side, so we're ideally out of the sun. We'll see how that goes. Okay. <laughs> so everyone gets a life jacket, which is great. We're gonna be no, safe. No, I don't have one. You have one. Oh, we're gonna share. <laughs> we got seats kind of toward the front, so hopefully we'll get some wind. We got seats on the left hand side, so hopefully we'll be in the shade. Get a view. That'd be great. Your seats are fine. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Laos. We need to see you smiling from, from here to Pak Bang, Pak Bang to Long Bang. We need you are enjoying our country and happy your holiday. We need to see you again in Laos. Thank you. If you are go back to your country, if your body is really good, Laos is really nice. You need to tell your friend, oh Laos is really good. <laughs> and slow body is really nice. So more tourists get in Laos and we are very happy. Because everyone coming you have to pay. Pay for what? Food, drink, guess how? Transfer. Everyone you have to pay. Everyone got the money with the tourists. Every country like the same, same, no money, no honey. <laughs> so we've already been on the boat like yeah, you want to tie up? almost two hours. Almost two hours. <laughs> and we're just we're now leaving. So it'll be like a ten hour day on the boat instead <laughs> of an eight hour day. <laughs> it's okay. Time to try our packaged mm. sandwiches. Oh, oh my god. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. <laughs> okay. There you have it. The review is it's food. <laughs> Those are spicy as hell. <laughs> oh, oops. Oh, okay. Hi, Lana. Oh You're killing me. Trying a new kind. Much too good for children. <laughs> Round two. Strawberry. People who say this 
Our boats are bad. Our babies. This is so easy. The wind makes it so cool and pleasant. It's like being on a nice bus. Maybe better. I'd rather have this than a bus. Yeah, because it's not bumpy. You'd think it would be really bumpy on the river, but it's super smooth. Fresh air. Views of villagers, cows. This is so easy. I am actually excited to do it again tomorrow. City of Pakbang. We'll call it a town. It's pretty straightforward. You get off the boat, there's a bunch of people um, asking you if you want a room. We already reserved one. The problem is, is that the hostel that we reserved doesn't have our name on the paper so far down the hill. So we're gonna walk up and see if we're on the list at the actual hostel. And if not, we'll find a place to sleep. It's all good. And as you can tell, I'm panting because. This hill's really steep. Also, we have our own little guide. Um, it's like a six-year-old girl. They made her do this, so I hope she's getting money or food for this. We walk up the hill, we're panting from it, and she just waltzes us right into her room, doesn't check my name. <laughs> <laughs> okay, day one on the slow boat is complete. So we chose to get accommodation ahead of time just because we knew that it was going to be a long day and when we showed up at the pier we didn't really want to feel hassled or anything like that. We just wanted to walk straight to our room, get everything in. So we booked accommodation ahead of time, but you don't have to. You can definitely show up, probably bargain a better price than we did, but I know that some of the people in the room are paying a very similar price to what we paid. So I don't feel bad booking it ahead of time. And no matter where you go, the accommodations are some of the most interesting <laughs> you'll find in your life. Um, are window is open to the street there's just constant sounds of dogs barking people yelling and we've been warned about the roosters that should start midnight as well uh-huh but it's all good and so day one was a success we survived and uh we'll pick back up tomorrow for round two 